Nikita from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our video channel on jobs and career. Today I'm going to speak about careers in .NET. .NET is both a business strategy from Microsoft and its collection of programming support for what are known as web services. The ability to use the web rather than your own computer for various services. Microsoft's goal is to provide individual and business users with a seamlessly interoperable and web-enabled interface for applications and computing devices and to make computing activities increasingly web browser oriented. The .NET platform includes servers, building block services such as web-based data storage and device software. It also includes Passport, Microsoft's fill in the form only once identity verification service. So companies looking for qualified .NET candidates, Deloitte, KPMG, Marriott International, Edward Johns, Google, Cisco, Wipro Limited, to name a few. The perfect time to learn the .NET course is before graduation because learning .NET will be required for working on Microsoft SharePoint. SharePoint is a business collaboration platform for managing things ranging from resources to documents and tasks. If you come from a non-computer science background and has a creative imagination, .NET provides you the pool to use it aptly with ease in learning. So salary after completing .NET course. .NET software developer or programmer earns an average salary of Rs. 3,34,959 per year. The highest paying skills associated with this job are Model View Controller MVC, and Internet Information Server IIS. Most people move on to other jobs if they have more than 10 years of experience in this field. Experience strongly influences income for this job. With more and more startup companies and ventures coming up in India, a .tech developer having 3 years of experience can earn anywhere between 3,60,000 per annum to 4,20,000 per annum. Now, the above figure is totally for mid-level companies. The same can vary for MNCs. Growth after getting this job. The future of .NET is great. The .NET core is open source and community is growing rapidly. More and more companies and developers are joining .NET core community. .NET is used to build AR or VR application using Unity. Several AR or VR headset manufacturers support Unity as a platform to build apps. Samsung releases Tizen for .NET that allows .NET developers to build apps for Samsung devices including TVs and mobile. Tizen is an open source operating system that powers Samsung TV, refrigerators and other devices. Google joins .NET foundations to be a part of .NET open source group. Cross platform is key to success of .NET. Now, .NET developers can build pretty much any kind of app they want. It was 2002 when Microsoft announced its .NET framework and since then it has changed the programming world. Today, Microsoft.NET framework has become one of the most used mainstream frameworks of software development. So .NET framework which is now open source is an evolving platform. Not only this, .NET open source, but it has managed by a well-managed body named the .NET Foundation. The .NET Foundation's team comes from a strong open source background that has vast experience in building and managing several large, long-term and successful projects. As the industry's needs grows or changes, .NET framework will continue to evolve based on the needs. So stay connected with us for more such videos and do not forget to hit the subscribe button below. Thank you.